He says, this is Jean-Francois Rock, who says, here from Dusty Rock Creations. Oh, he's, you think? he's <laughs> dropping names. <laughs> he says, uh, Mr. Tyson, Lord Nice, let's dive into some fascinating questions, if you do say so yourself. Uh, he says, <laughs> we'll be the judge of that. We'll be the judge of that. <laughs> All right. He says, supermassive black holes at the heart of galaxies hold the key to understanding how galaxies become uh, come into being. Maybe. Yes. Maybe. Can, let it, me tell you why it's a maybe. Okay. Because the supermassive black hole has like the big ones, like a billion solar masses. Give them 10 billion. But billions, uh, we can Carl Saganify it. Billions. 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 Right. So the mass of a galaxy, however, is hundreds of billions times the mass of the sun. So maybe the black hole nucleated some things to begin with, but the mass of the galaxy swamps the, the mass, mass of the of black, the black hole. hole. So right. there's a limit to how much you're going to credit the black hole for the whole damn, the, the kit and the caboodle. Gotcha. Okay. That that makes, so continue. That's a, good, that's a very good yeah. point. He says, um, is it fair to say that entire galaxies will inevitably end up being swallowed by their own black holes and disappear forever. No. No. Yep. There you go. <laughs>